Council's speech, and today is April 10th, 2013. Um, my speech is going to be about closing the dining room floor at Monk's Barbecue in Easley, and that's where I work at. Um, for, the first thing we have to do when we close the floor down is collect all the sauce bottles. And we have three different sauces, sweet, smoky, then we have mild and mustard. And we have these big containers right here that we put all our sauce in to fill the bottles up with. Um, the first thing we do is get them off all the tables and we just stick them on a counter. And then we fill them up and then we wipe them down. And we stick them in bus tubs right here. And we stack them on a, um, a cart and we just throw them into the cooler so they don't spoil every night when it gets really hot. The second thing that we do after we get all the sauce bottles done is swap down um, off of each of the tables. Um, we wipe them down with a clean washcloth just so nothing else gets smeared on them. And then after we wipe the tables down, we also wipe down the salt and pepper shakers and then the napkin holders that are on each of the tables. Um, to break down the waitress station, there's a few things that you have to do with it. Um, the main thing is to break down the, um, the tea urns. We jug up all the tea for to-go orders that we might have the next day or catering or deliveries or anything like that. Um, and then for this thing right here, we have to make sure that the coffee creamers and the butters and lemons are full for the waitress who comes in the next morning to set up. Then we have to fill in the straws, um, the tea sweetener lids, anything like that, just so everything's ready to go the next morning. Next, we have to take out all the trash cans. We have one really big trash can out on the floor, and then we have the little one that people throw their sweeteners and their star out the tin. We have two ceiling fans that we have to make sure that we have to turn off. Then we have the big blinds. I don't know if y'all have been there to see them, but for all the windows, we have to make sure that the blinds are completely up like this, just so people can see them at night, I guess. <laughs> we have to turn the train off. For some reason, it takes a lot of power, and the thing goes like 24-7, so it needs a little break. We have to sweep the entire floor, um, and our floors are really bad, so we have to sweep them several different times just to make sure that we get everything up because they're not coated with anything. They're just a brown concrete floor. And we have to make sure that the air and the heat is off. Um, the only reason we won't turn the heat off is if it gets below 32 degrees and it'll freeze and then our pipes will bust in our bathrooms. So then we'll leave the heat on. Um, the next thing we have to do is we have to clean the bathrooms really good, both the boys and the girls. And for that, you have to take the trash cans out. We have to clean the mirrors and we clean those with Windex and we just wipe them down with a paper towel. On the next thing, we get another clean washcloth and we'll wipe down the sinks of any soap that might be spilled or any dirt that will still be in the bottoms of them. Um, we have to make sure that the toilet paper is stocked up in all the bathroom stalls and then we also have to make sure that there's enough soap to get through the next night and also paper towels along the back. Um, we have to wipe the toilets down, the seats, the top of them, the, the rings around the floor. And then we leave um, Lysol and bleach inside the toilet bowl and we leave it there every night to so it kind of refreshes the smell every night. Then we'll also have to sweep the bathroom floors and mop the bathroom floors also. Next, we have to put up all the chairs on the tables and we just stack them straight up and then we turn the other two bottoms to bottoms. Second, the chairs up. We have to mop the whole entire floor. Okay, after we get done with all the list of things that I have just discussed, we just simply get a manager to come out and he'll go around and check everything, make sure everything's clean and done correctly. He says that we're good to go, then we can get the clock out, and then we're done for the night. I appreciate y'all coming to listen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>